Bit of big welcome here today. We have, today is the announcement of the preferred, preferred developer and also um, the preferred operator of the convention centre. So it's really exciting. We're at another stage of you know, the central city. Um, it's great to have the Prime Minister here um, and Ministers Brownlee and Ministers Wagner here as well to, to celebrate um, this milestone. So there's a precinct which is more than just a convention, uh, more than just a convention centre. There's also hotels, retail, accommodation. So it really is something which really anchors part of the CBD. So I won't take any more thunder away from the Prime Minister and I welcome the Prime Minister up here. Welcome Prime Minister. Uh, kia ora tato. Uh, Roger, thanks very much. Can I just acknowledge um, uh, all the dignitaries that are here today? There's uh, many of you from a variety uh, of organisations and uh, yeah, I'm here to make a few uh, comments basically about the convention centre, but, but uh, if I just digress for one second before I do that, I um, had a couple of weeks ago with Jerry had the opportunity to sit down with Sarah and just to go through sort of, I suppose, reasonably forensically, uh, you know, basically the progress that's taking place uh, in Christchurch and in the areas of responsibility that Sarah have, and particularly in relation to the CBD. And what I'd say, I came away, you know, very, very impressed with, you know, what we're seeing. There's real momentum there. And I think there'll always be, at a micro level, individual businesses and individual households uh, that are still struggling uh, with the after effects of the earthquake and having to deal with insurers and a variety of other issues. And we don't want to diminish their plight at all because they're serious issues and we, everyone's working hard to resolve those. But overall, what I'd say, it's an extremely positive picture of what's emerging. And, uh, you know, I feel very, very confident that uh, Christchurch is going to do well. You probably saw the unemployment data out yesterday. Uh, so Christchurch is at 2.8%, half the national average, which is now 5.6%. And I think a few hours ago, Australia just released their unemployment data, and that's gone up to 6.4%. So you can see how well New Zealand is doing, and particularly how well um, you know, Christchurch is doing. So you've got a very, very strong picture overall here. And uh, you can take a lot of confidence that it's, uh, Christchurch is, is coming back and it's coming back strong. So anyway, we're here today to mark another big step in the progress of the rebuild of Christchurch, the announcement of the preferred developers and operators of the Convention Centre precinct. Before I make that announcement, I want to quickly bring everyone up to speed on the progress of this rapidly changing environment. A lot is happening within the four avenues. The Crown has almost $1 billion worth of projects underway, with work now well advanced on the Avon River Precinct, the Justice and Emergency Services Complex, the bus interchange and the public realm spaces of the North and East Frame. Perhaps less well known or acknowledged is the very large amount of private sector development underway or committed to the CBD. Since the earthquake, 679 million uh, worth of building projects have been consented within the four avenues. Among the buildings completed or where ground has been broken, we have the Forte Health and the Strangers Building, both of which I had the honour of opening, the Grand Central Office Building, Stages 1 and 2, Cashel Square, the Knox Plaza, the Orley Building and the Anderson Lloyd House. Very soon the Triangle Centre Shopping and Office Complex will be underway, as well as the Crossings Car Park and the Vodafone Building. And notably, now, uh, work is now underway on the Retail Precinct. All this development is why property firm Colliers predicts that within three years, around 10,000 people will be working uh, within 300 metres of the retail precinct, rising to 15,000 within four years. The government has unashamedly been a big part of the commitment, driving long-term cost savings and efficiency by choosing to co-locate around about 1,500 staff from 18 government agencies within four buildings in the CBD. Which brings me to the reason we're all here today. The Convention Centre precinct is probably the key anchor project in terms of the impact it will have on how the CBD looks and feels, not to mention the people it will bring into the city. The government has committed to investing almost $300 million for the Convention Centre as part of the Christchurch Central Recovery Plan. The precinct will see the development of most of the area between Victoria Square 
and Cathedral Square, providing a 2,000 seat conference facility at its heart and have hotel, residential, hospitality, shopping and commercial capacity. Christchurch is the gateway to the South Island and we know New Zealand has missed out on, con on considerable convention and conference business over the years through lack of capacity. We also know that convention visitors spend more than other visitors and often return to the country they've visited on business to holiday with their families. That is why we're so firmly backed an appropriate modern convention facility for Christchurch. Today I'm pleased to reveal that Plenary Conventions New Zealand, a consortium of proven international infrastructure firm Plenary Group and the experienced local firms Naitahu Property and Carter Group, has been selected as the preferred uh, development consortium for this very large project. The next step for the consortium is to formally enter into a master planning and development phase where the Crown will work with Plenary Conventions New Zealand on the detail of the precinct ahead of construction. I'm also pleased to announce today that leading international convention centre and hotel operator Accor has been selected as the preferred operator of the convention centre. Accor will also work with the Crown and Plenary Conventions New Zealand into the next phase. This is a big vote of confidence in the future of Christchurch by some major domestic and international companies. As you can see, Plenary Conventions New Zealand has produced a concept model and images to demonstrate its vision of what the Convention Centre precinct might become. While all parties need to work through the exact design and layout of the Convention Centre precinct, these concepts demonstrate the exciting possibilities in front of us. I expect the release of these images will take many local people on a significant journey towards realising what a large part of their central city will actually look like. While there are still important legal and procurement processes to go through, I think all parties are confident of taking this development to the next stage. And I expect today's announcement will deliver further confidence to the people of Christchurch that the rebuild continues to gain pace and is in good hands. I'd now ask Roger Sutton to introduce Paul Crow from Plenary Conventions New Zealand and Garth Simmons from Accord to say a few words. Uh, but gentlemen, congratulations uh, for your vote of confidence uh, in Christchurch. So Paul Crow is the Executive Director for Plenary based in Melbourne and he's now going to tell us a bit more about Plenary and also I think show us a bit of a video fly through. So welcome Paul. Thanks, Prime Minister, Right Honourable John Key, uh, Minister for Earthquake Recovery, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee, Members of Parliament, uh, Elizabeth Cunningham from Naitahu, uh, Sierra and City Council representatives and of course my fellow consortium members and ladies and gentlemen. Not surprisingly we are very pleased to be here today. Taking the next steps in a project we believe will create a new landmark for the city. This is a project that has the potential to change the story for Christchurch following the devastating earthquakes. An enormous amount of work goes into these proposals for public infrastructure projects and as the images at the back of the room suggest, this project is no exception. It is the culmination of many months of work to date from a very large design team. And we appreciate that we have many months of work to, ahead of us as we join together with Sarah and the preferred operator. But we're very excited about the opportunity being given to us to further develop our proposal and the challenge that delivering this project represents. The delivery of the Christchurch Convention Centre precinct is a rare opportunity in all our professional lives to be involved in such an important catalyst project. It's an irresistible challenge that we share with the government, Sarah, and the local community. The Plenary Conventions New Zealand Consortium is made up of Plenary Group, Carter Group, and Naitahu Property. While you probably know our local partners, Plenary Group is a public infrastructure specialist that has delivered over 14 billion of projects throughout Australia, where we initially established ourselves, and also now in Canada and the United States, where our model has grown strongly. We came together as a consortium with Carter Group and Naitahu Property to combine the very best local knowledge and experience Christchurch has to offer 
with our international design and delivery expertise in large infrastructure projects. And we could not be more pleased with the way the team has come together. And I want to thank now our local partners who have committed to the journey with us, in particular Philip Carter from Carter Group and Tony Sewell from Naitahu Property. Their local knowledge, their commitment and their shared vision with us has been invaluable to date and we look forward to that continuing. Together, the members of the consortium are poised to make a substantial investment into the heart of Christchurch and to work with government to deliver a long-term outcome for the residents and the visitors to Christchurch alike. Civic projects like the Christchurch Convention Centre have a capacity to be great catalysts for, uh, for further investment, further development and economic growth beyond just the borders of our precinct. This has never been more the case than with this project. The new precinct will, will, it, uh, will present itself to the national and international business community as New Zealand's preeminent convention and meeting destination and restore Christchurch's position in the international convention market. Business tourism is acknowledged, as the Prime Minister has done just before, as being high yield tourism and has, uh, has much greater average spend than normal tourism and it directly contributes to the local economy. And that's why facilities like these are important drivers. As a result, in addition to the Crown's investment in a world-class convention centre, the private sector will add to the precinct with an investment in a mixed-use commercial development precinct, including tourism, office and residential, and a fully integrated convention centre hotel. We believe the design of facility will deliver a new landmark for Christchurch that reflects its aspirations and identity as a resilient international city. Our approach to building the design team reflected this overall strategy of bringing the world's best together with local talent. In the first instance, we brought together Woods Baggett, led by Nick Corrales, who we have delivered the Melbourne Convention Centre with, uh, and combined them with Warren and Marnie, led by Andrew Barclay. The overall design team is a lot bigger than two companies uh, and reflects a collaboration of a team that includes Holmes Consulting Group, WSP Lincoln Scott, Tonkin and Taylor and Boffa Miskell. Our philosophy is that a public investment of this kind in a strategic location must be an investment for all Cantabrians, active and engaging for the local community all year round. We believe that the Convention Centre precinct will deliver a significant and ongoing contribution to the social and economic life of the city. The design which we're about to show to you offers the opportunity to create river walks, plazas and retail laneways around an integrated convention centre, hotel and retail precinct. We're hoping this will become a vibrant corridor between Avon River and Cathedral Square and an, and an exciting link between the Cathedral and Victoria Squares. We believe locals will see this as a place to come, gather and celebrate. And unfortunately for me, that probably means celebrating another uh, win over the Wallabies sometime down the track. But please believe our consortium is, is very passionate about this project and the outcomes that it will generate for this city. Thank you. It's very exciting. Um, I was gonna, the last time I stayed in a fancy hotel was actually in Auckland and I was up there giving a, um, a talk, having won some, some silly award or something and so they upgraded me to a fancy suite and when I went to bed that night the suite was so jolly complicated I went to turn the lights out and I couldn't actually get all the jolly lights to go out so I ended up ringing room service having someone come up and turn the lights out for me I could just hear the conversation down on the front desk you know this guy he's rebuilding Christchurch but he he was unable to turn the lights out I don't know what sort of state Christchurch is going to be in so I was now going to call on Garth Simmons who's the um, senior vice president for Accor Hotels and he's just going to talk about um, what they bring to this so they they are the preferred operator of the hotel and um, he needs to be on notice that um, the contract is also going to specify light switches and complexities in them. So, welcome, Garth. Wherever you're here. welcome, Garth. Although uh, Roger assured me that wasn't one of our hotels in Auckland. So, listen. Thank you. Good afternoon. Yep. 
Prime Minister Key, Mr Branley. Uh, listen, it gives me great pleasure to be here today, uh, standing for a core as we're uh, officially appointed the preferred operator uh, for the master planning development stage for the Christchurch Convention Centre. As New Zealand's largest hotel operator with 29 hotels and over 4,000 rooms, the core has a proud history of hospitality and investment in New Zealand uh, since we opened our first hotel 20 years ago in, in Auckland. Today, we're not just hotel operators, uh, but we've got the strength of a global hospitality company, as well as an experienced operator of convention centres across the world, uh, including we host annually over 70,000 events in, in 110 thousand square metres of meeting convention exhibition space here in New Zealand and also in Australia. And this means the core can bring the expertise to the table to actually help to ensure that the Christchurch Convention Centre is a resounding success. Listen, we have and we really look forward to working with the government and also SARA and the plenary, plenary conventions in New Zealand to ensure we've got a state-of-the-art facility that actually delivers and, and helps put Christchurch back on the map. Um, and on the map this time as a national and international destination for conferences across the world. Uh, of course, we've, we've, we've invested in, in, in Christchurch in the past and we intend to invest in the future as well. We're very proud to be the first, first operator to reopen the doors when we opened the Ibis Hotel a year after the earthquake. And then we, then we opened the Novotel a year after that as well. Uh, so we're here, we actually understand what a convention centre does for, for a city and what it'll do for Christchurch as well. Uh, it'll, it'll drive visitor growth, it'll help that. It'll actually create jobs, support local businesses and deliver broader economic benefits across the Canterbury area. Uh, we're, we're here, we're, we're actually, we're very excited about the convention centre and, and we understand the convention centre and, and projects like the convention centre are not only just important for Christchurch, the Canterbury region and the South Island, but both economically and emotionally for the whole of the country. So we're really looking forward to working further and, and investing further in Christchurch and we see it as a, see it a very bright future for Christchurch in New Zealand. Thank you very much. So that completes the formal part of the arrangements. Um, I think you can see we've got some really um, beautiful and exciting imagery there. Um, and I'd now invite you all to stay for a, um, a juice and a few nibbles and um, talk perhaps more to some of the people involved in the development. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister.